I just wanted one time where Yuji just washed strolls on up to the principal's office and he's like, yeah, I want to know everything about this person <laughs> from your own mouth. <laughs> I don't want to read it in some damn file. Just, just tell me everything. Man, now I wonder how fast that would actually progress the story. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> mashing students of different school years into a single classroom and giving them an identical course of instruction is typically referred to as a combined class system. It's most frequently used in rural elementary schools where low population and limited resources sometimes make it an unavoidable cost-saving measure. Hello? Uh oh. Time to teach! I mean, learn! Hi. Oh. <laughs> that, that, that sound looks so aggressive, like the way she got up out of the chair. I guess Mahama might be called an unusual variation on that system. Amine's a year ahead of me, Sachi and Makina are a year below, but we're all currently being taught how to solve quadratic functions by factorization. Of course, even in rural areas, they don't tend to squash three years into one. You'd usually have to go to South Korea to see anything like this. That was weird. Like, she was talking, but it wasn't popping up real fast. <laughs> uh. I was going to say, Sachi's like, she's got this. She's a smart cookie. It's like Sachi's perfect, except the fact that she has this request problem. Well, if you tell her to, probably. <laughs> Taking in Sachi's effortlessness, uh, effortlessness, well, effortless response out of the corner of her eye, Sakaki mumbles words of admiration. I don't like your revelations. Ha! <laughs> See, by the way, Amine in fact knows that Machiru is not actually a tsundere. She just has it in the gut. So, yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, okay, so what did you realize? Probably not. She's perfect, I'm telling you. Makina's like, I fuck up all the time. As of two days ago, I probably would have reacted with skepticism at this point. But after what I've learned about Sachi recently, this seems all too plausible. Sachi, what are your test scores looking like? Let me guess. It's like 99. Or it's higher because of extra credit questions. なんであなたが得意げなのよ。ごめん、なんとなく。確かに全部というわけじゃないけれど、小峰さんの場合はケアレスミスがほとんどで常に満点に近い数字よ。Yeah, <笑><笑> uh... she probably like 97 to 100 all the time. すごい。調子に乗ってすみませんでした。あの、なんで謝られているんでしょう。私。<笑><笑><笑> This goddamn Makina face, literally the best face in this game. What, that Sachi's grades aren't always perfect? 
ここまで来たらどこまでもっていうかこうサチにはずっと汚れのないままでいてほしかったのよね。You know, I read for some reason I read an eternal bacon of untouched purity. I'm okay with that. たとえおかしいし。えっと。なんだかよくわからないですけど、ごめんなさい。おさち will not go untouched after this route's over. <laughs> If you are a cheese. 別に謝らなくてもいいってば、全部が満点じゃなくても、私には到底真似できないことなんだから。What if you told Sachi to be perfect? Like absolutely perfect? What would happen? There's like a lot of things with this. Never denies a request thing you could experiment with. Probably very fucked up, but you know, hmm. <laughs> From a common sense perspective, it seems completely obvious. No matter how much of a genius you are or how much time you're spent practicing, it's, a, it's difficult for any human being to maintain absolute perfection. That said, in Sachi's case, I have this odd feeling that she's only missing questions because nobody asked her to get perfect scores constantly yet. Am I overestimating her? Ooh. But Yumiko said that if she was a person, she would be able to answer any question. In fact, she would be able to answer any question. You're just like, hey, Sachi, break your record by、uh, actually getting a question wrong. If she was a person, she would be able to answer any question. I don't know. I think she's got this. Like, she can answer anything. Well, I can more or less identify with the sentiment. The girl's a curious specimen, to be sure. Oh no, the fucking two stooges are at it again. God damn it. でもさ、さっちゃんが答えられないような問題を出すんだったら。Yeah, how can a bunch of idiots like us <laughs> fucking figure out a question that can stump Sachi? Like, what the fuck? Well, I would say Amine, myself, and Yumiko aren't dumb, but、uh, then you got Machiru, who's actually stupid, and then Makina, who's only really got photographic memory going for her. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I am? Oh, so cool. You did the put chosen and looks in your tama is in a oh, well, I mean, I'm not gonna for the record. A sourpuss face has absolutely no relevance to academic results. So, ne, you did not tell Kariduno a choto saku da kedo. A toa makasetawa. Wow, they're just pushing it all on me. Sorry, wh what's that supposed to mean? Tsumari Antawa, Sachi no token nasa so na monday o das kakari ni nimme sareta no yo. I guess I don't mind giving her a test, but shouldn't you be asking for her consent before appointing anybody? So, ne, no. Yeah, I sure figured. Uh huh. Well, I did pretty much expect an answer along those lines, but still. You guys aren't gonna be of help. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> oh, I love you, Makina. Come here. Let me ruffle your little dear hair and. Shits. <laughs> All right, I guess.、Ouch. Since a consensus seems to have emerged, I suppose I'll go along with it. No need to struggle against the current. Oh, shit. I even forgot we were having a lesson. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this to your face, Sachi, but you're ser seriously a soft touch. There's such a thing as being too cooperative, you know. So, the shoka. 
assigned a strange new responsibility by the whims of my caprious classmates. I'm holding an impromptu rooftop meeting with Sachi to discuss the specifics. Yes, you just committed yourself to an academic stress test with no real point beyond satisfying our classmates' curiosity, if you hadn't noticed. Literally what you just did. Although Sachi obediently accepts my words on a superficial level, she doesn't really seem to recognize the situation as inconvenient. Well, if this doesn't bother you, I would... S I won't say you were wrong to accept. Uh... Uh, Sachi, where did you <laughs> where did you pick up that phrase? Convenience store no zashiuriba de ichiban hoshi ni narande ita hon no hyoshi ni kaite arimashita. Perhaps you shouldn't take anything out of those cinematic. <sighs> I see. I vaguely suspected as much for a while now, but it seems you're a member in good standing of the maskist community, Sachi. Jibun de ishiki shita koto wa nai no desu ga. Kazami-san,がそう感じられたのなら、そうなんだと思います。それにもし私がMだとしたら、ドエスのカザミさんと相性はバッチリなはずです。Ooh, she does have a point. When did I get prompted, uh, uh, <laughs> promoted to super sadist exactly? いつでしょう? I'm not getting any answers. When Sachi gets like this, it really does feel like you're talking to an enigmatic maid with a deadpan sense of humor. But now that I think about it, that impression is probably misleading. The girl's defining characteristics are her earnest personality and impressive range of skills. She accepts nearly every request that comes her way. She's an excellent student, and from what I've seen, she's respectably athletic as well. In a way, she's less a maid and more the ideal personification of an honor student. But she takes it to the extreme that it's so hard to keep yourself from thinking she might be too good to be true. I'll undress whomever and whatever I want with my eyes. Sorry, can I smack you after all? Uh, that sounds like it get a little bit, like, bad if someone were to... Uh. <laughs> okay, I think if we're impressive, the reset button is called for at this point. Let, okay, Sachi, let's just get back on topic. Reset button pushed. There's a couple things I want to ask you before planning uh, I, I out this little experiment. Do you take any specific measures to prepare for teachers asking you to solve a problem in class? Okay, okay, he's got like a little notebook he's writing down in. <laughs> hmm, certainly true, but studying until you solve every single problem in the upcoming material usually requires an impractical amount of time and effort. Although she's clearly devoted as well, Sachi must naturally be something of a quick learner. Alright then, wrote that down. Uh, what would you do in a situation where you absolutely need someone else's cooperation to fulfill a request? Uh, sure, something like that. With a mission like that, don't you run into a dead, a dead end if they just refuse to listen? Uh, Alright. I see. Alright. Don't really tend to think of Sachi as a flexible thinker, but it seems she does consider her challenges on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm a... Uh, 
今日は私の部屋に遊びに来られるということでいいんですよね。Uh, I, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was the plan, unless there's a problem on your end. わかりました。では、また放課後に。Alright. Oh, I thought, didn't know I was done with my questions. In any case, today I'm going to be directly observing Sachi's private life. Oh, right. That was a thing I was doing. That may well provide me with some insight into what makes this distinctly unusual human being tick. Dude, I'm, I'm pumped for this. God damn it. It's just us. <laughs> Me stalking her? Why did you say that? <laughs> oh no, Makina is going to be like, <laughs> like she's going to be a pervy old man. Watch. All of a sudden, three of my classmates spring to their feet as one. What? Was there a tremor? Can't say I noticed. <laughs> That's not like, it's not what you think. <laughs> Absolutely not what you think. <laughs> she just worded it wrong, it's fine. <laughs> Why do you keep passing off the torch over here? <laughs> because it's like, I mean, if, you know, you're in a relationship, it's fine. You know. I see. The precise nature of your collective delusion is now clear to me. But to be perfectly clear, that's not what Sachi meant just now. <sighs> Why? 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 <laughs> this doesn't help! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the chorus draws a few steps away from me and begins to discuss something in venomous whips, whispers, shooting me. Scornful glances out of the corner of their eyes. Dude, I'm expecting Makina any moment to just be like, hey, hey, good, it's a good job, Oni-chan. <laughs> Get her. I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Sachi, but could you please keep your goddamn mouth shut until I'm done explaining? <laughs> okay, listen up, all right? I'm just dropping by Sachi's room for a visit. That's literally the full extent of the plan she's talking about. Apparently, Sachi doesn't believe in giving herself free time. I was kind of dubious, so she volunteered to demonstrate directly what that means. Once I provide a brief explanation of the circumstances, my three interrogators cool down surprisingly easily. Amine's tone suggests she's all but lost interest. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but you're strangely understanding. <laughs> She has? Huh, so she's done this literally four times before. So, what's going on behind that curtain? それは自分の目で確かめた方がいいわ。きっと口で説明されても納得できないと思うから。God, now I'm even more excited. <laughs> hmm. In other words, their own version of this field trip must have left a decidedly ambiguous impression. I'm always a gentleman, like Gonta. Gonta's dead. Uh, yeah, I'll... I'll make a conscious effort not to disrupt Sachi's personal life and private life more than I, any any more than necessary. Um, so Fucking perverts. 
Sakisaki heaves a small sigh. Makina, who's shown absolutely no interest in the conversation until this point, promptly slides over and yanks on her sleeve. Uh, God damn it, Makina. <laughs> Uh, all right then. Wood meeting at the lobby. Lobby in and out. I almost said lobster. In the <laughs> wood meeting at the lobster. In the lobby in an hour or so. Work for you. I need like a compilation of all my fu my brain fuck ups, where like the only the ones that I actually realize are brain fuck ups. Man, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. Uh, I, I, I think it'd be fine if we just, you know. Baka. Oh, good lord. Yep. What? Fucking just. just God. Considering how you little how little you supposedly care, I find it slightly odd that you've been tailing me since I left my uh, the, left the classroom. Baka. Uh, uh, I'm uh, and there she goes. <laughs> Probably just wanted to say that last bit from the very beginning. The Sundari's lot uh, is not a happy one. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Oh. Huh? Huh? What the fuck? What is she? What is she? Uh, okay. <laughs> かな。なぞなぞか。甘ねえのくせに生意気な。うん、that was a good this better be the best no free time routine I've ever seen. And, and this room. Oh. Well, look at here. It's all nice and organized. Unlike everyone else's fucking room. Wait a minute. No, wait. What? I don't. Did we ever get a background of Yumiko's room? No, we didn't, did we? We had like a little uh, chibi scene in her room, but we didn't. We've seen every other girl's room except Yumiko's, really. Bruh. Unless I'm crazy, which like possibly. Uh, uh, yeah. First thing that catches my eye is a large locker, <laughs> similar to the one Sachi uses it as a storehouse in the classroom. It's also the only thing that catches my eye. There's not much else in the way of distinctive personal touches in here minimalist if you put it nicely plain if you don't but personally I'm just grateful it isn't some frilly abomination full of stuffed animals and overpowered scented candles uh, I, I, you might think I'd actually ask <laughs> just like all the other ladies I'm sure that a fact. Come to think of it, I haven't poked my head in Sachi's room before. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Try not to put it like that when other people can hear you. Machiro and company would under misunderstand again. Understandably in this case. Which, by the way, they're probably outside the door right now listening to us. I would not even be surprised. <laughs> So, once you're back in your room, what's the first order of business normally? Uh, alright, let me rephrase that. The first order of business after you change out of your uniform? <laughs> <laughs> <At> what? <laughs> I 
Also, couldn't you have gotten changed before I came over? No, she wanted to show you everything. The whole process. And why did you have to do that today, in particular? God, if you don't know the answer, I doubt anyone else will. After changing into her casual clothes, if the term can even apply to a maid uniform, in the back, Sachi begins to unpack a range of study materials from her school bag. Alright, don't worry about me, just go on ahead like you always do. Well, I got my notebook ready. Gonna take down some notes, you know? With that concise answer, Sachi promptly heads over to her desk. Hmm. Also writing down. After carefully spreading out her notes in a few textbooks, Sachi begins solving problems at a steady pace. In no time at all, she's absorbed in the task at hand. Even watching her from behind, her concentration is almost startling. Hmm. First of all, she goes over the problems we reviewed today a second time. When that's done, she moves methodically through everything we might possibly cover in the next class. Goddamn. <laughs> Even as she jumps to new material and different subjects, her pen never stops its regular mechanical motion across her notebook paper. If anything else, it's quite a display of academic prowess. You study this much every day? Yes, can't possibly deny that request, huh? That's your reason? No, strange would be an overstatement. <laughs> Although, personally speaking, it seems way too weak a motivation to inspire this kind of effort. Eh, it's just... Oh, oh. I like to think she says that out loud to herself. Cutting up from her seat without even pausing to stretch, Sachi immediately begins to pack away her books and study aids. Next up would be preparing dinner, then. No, you told me. Before the studying. Don't give me that utterly astounded face. You told me your schedule before, remember? The hell's wrong with you, Sachi? <laughs> Been a while since I heard that phrase. Anyways, while you're eating dinner, I guess I should, uh... Oh, well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> that really all right with you? Wouldn't say disliking the idea. No, I don't have any reason to refuse. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> I'm just chilling here on the bed. Just... I watch idly as Sachi trots off toward the kitchen to prepare the meal. Just now, her smile seemed unusually happy. Was it just my imagination? No. <laughs> I don't know about this song. <laughs> About 10 minutes after Sachi begins her preparations, I hear the rhythmical sound of a kitchen knife striking a cutting board. Within a few moments, she accompanies this steady pre procession with a bizarre song. A percussion. Pre Whoa! Why did I say procession? Holy shit. Almost certainly another one of Makina's compositions. Dun, dun. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, up to this point, I can't deny she's given herself exactly nothing in the way of legitimate free time. Frankly, her constant motion and eager devotion to her tasks uh, tasks aren't particularly difficult from what I normally see out of uh, out of her in school. Hmm. From the smell of things, it's curry. Hmm. Sorry, <sighs> It's all for me. I love curry. Yeah. Curry was downright treasured at my old school. It's filling, nutritious, and tends to taste de decent no matter who makes it. And apart from the practical appeal, it does fall into the category of food I personally prefer. 
but have I ever declared myself a curry fanatic in front of Sachi? I'm not the sort of enthusiastic gourmand who makes a habit of advertising his tastes. Amine probably told her or something. No, it's nothing. Well, there's no need to think too hard about something that trivial. It depends on the kind of yogurt. That's fine. I'm not what you'd call a picky eater. I'll really eat just whatever I want. I'm, I wouldn't even be surprised if I ate shit during the war. Uh, any. As a rule, I eat whatever's put on my plate. <laughs> Maybe, but she complains it's less satisfying when there's no challenge. Hmm. Sachi keeps up a natural flow of conversation without her losing focus on the work at hand. Considering how busy she keeps herself, I don't really have any many opportunities to make small talk with Sachi, so this sort of idle conversation feels a bit novel. Come to think of it, when did you start cooking yourself, Sachi? Okay, makes sense. Out of necessity, in other words? Yes, Auntie, huh? First I've heard of her. But grilling Sachi about her family would probably fall under the tactless side of things. <laughs> we don't have tact. <laughs> Not that long, then. Seems like you're quick on the uptake. Uh, I... Sure. Whatever. <laughs> uh, in the time it takes for our conversation to run off the tracks into total incoherence, the Sachi style curry has reached completion. Hmm. The curry itself is impressively att attractive. And I've got no complaints about the smell either. The salad, ooh, what kind of salad? Hold on. The salad she's added as a sort of garnish appears fresh and appetizing as well. So as a whole, there's no reason to hesitate. All right then, I'm gonna go get right to it. Oh, now I wanna make some curry. <laughs> After briefly bringing my hands together for politeness sake, I scoop up a spoonful of curry and bring it to my mouth. Mm. Mm. I can summarize my impressions fairly concisely. It's homemade curry. <laughs> Rather than the spicy variety you might be s served at a restaurant, it's mild, soothing comfort food anyone could eat. Uh, but for some reason, Sachi's intently watching me eat instead of starting her own chair. Don't worry, it doesn't seem poisoned. Go ahead, eat it. <laughs> she wants your goddamn opinion. Once I point this out to her, Sachi starts to move her spoon as well. While we just stare into each other's eyes. It gets real weird for a second. <laughs> Without much in the way of conversation, we quietly carry spoonful after spoonful of curry to our mouths. Among other things, the acidity of the yogurt she added as flavoring tempers the aftertaste nicely, so there's no real need to pause. Kazami-san, desu. I always clean my plate. So it seems. <laughs> Before I know it, the reasonably sized helping she served me has vanished altogether. I imagine he was watching her while he was eating, and then like he just sees the clank of his spoon or fork, whatever you want to eat it with, hitting the plate, and he's like, where's my food? <laughs> oh, well, that's... Uh... As Sachi leans forward to take my plate, I reflexively reach out and drop a hand on top of her head. Nice work, Sachi. It's not often that I actually want a second helping. Damn! <gasps> Whew! Well, that's, an, that's impressive. As I lightly ruffle her hair, a visible jolt of surprise runs through Sachi's body. Uh, sorry. I sort of realized I hadn't given you my thoughts or anything. Just a spur-of-the-moment thing. Yeah. In that case, mind if I keep this up a little longer? 
You did ask for more of my praise, after all. Here you go. What? You think I've gone senile or something? Not like it's been long enough for me to forget. Sachi finally smiles. After a few more gentle strokes, I lower my hand from her head. Oh no, and it reminds her of the past. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> well, sure. Although I know it's not much of a reward, considering the effort you put into the meal. <laughs> Deflecting my words in a light tone of voice, Sachi heads back off toward the kitchen to refill my plate. Guess you could say that's typical of Sachi. But there's such a thing as being too modest. Hmm, I could go for some seconds. Uh, once the table wears all cleaned away, Sachi announces the next stage of her plans, carefully balancing a rubber duck on top of her head. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ooh, I might have to this time. Thanks for the disturbingly casual invitation, but I didn't bring a towel or change of clothes. Uh, she really is prepared for everything, huh? Come to think of it, you mentioned the, about that the, the, the day I moved in. Is it just me, or is there a much bigger obstacle still remaining here? Such as, oh, I don't know, common fucking sense? Sorry, but I think I'll pass. So this Oh, she's sad. Normally, I wouldn't have a reason to refuse, but in this case, I feel like you need to carefully rethink when and why to make an offer like that. <laughs> well, at least she listens to reason, although I'm far from confident she actually understands the underlying problem here. You don't mind me leaving, uh, leaving me in your room alone? I already know where you keep your underwear. <laughs> God damn it. Not exactly. You told me yourself a few weeks ago, remember? Fascinating question, but I'm not really sure why you're asking me. Hold it! <laughs> that as uh, just as Sachi moves to open her door, I reach out and intercept her hand. <laughs> she wants this to happen. But that's not it. There's someone on the other side of that door. Yup. God, I'm good at this game. <laughs> that said, the only real question is which of the four stooges couldn't contain their curiosity. All of them. Alright, listen up. Count to three, then throw it open with me. Hi. <laughs> one, three, two, one. God damn it. As expected, our sudden action prompts a distinctly feminine shriek. That was Yumiko, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> Glancing down, I find a dumbfounded Sakaki sprawled out on her backside a few feet away. And what are you doing out here? Your room's on the second floor, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> why? You couldn't have picked a better excuse? Why is it exactly that my classmates are such uniformly terrible liars? That's nice. By the way, Sachi's just heading off to the Grand Bath, just in case you were curious. I could. Please. I'm staying here, obviously. <laughs> Apparently somewhat relieved by the snooze, Kaki lightly brushes her disheveled bangs back into place. Don't ask Sachi anything. 
胸を見せろ股を開け等の性的な要求はありません<笑>そそう Convinced? Surprising as it may seem to you, I'm a gentle. I am gentleman! So, n a k o t o n kill me when I'm. Baka. Seems Kaki has decided to trust me for the time being as she abruptly turns away and heads back up the stairs. <laughs> eh. You know, that girl's got a tough on her own right. Can't be easy going through life with that contrary. Uh, uh, that contrary of personality. サカキさんはミチル様に似てツンデレに近いところがあるんだと思います。Might have a point there, sadly. <laughs> I'm the true Sundari, though. お先にお湯をいただきました。Yuji is, that is. Oh shit, okay. 30 minutes on the dot after the incident outside her door, Sachi pokes her slightly flushed face back into the room. Get out of. Get, what? what? <laughs> Got out of there without fainting today, I see. はい、マキちゃんとアマネさんから絶対に1万数えなくてもいいと言われましたから。Even though that didn't really need to be explained to you, I see. Apparently, the brief conversation last night was in fact enough to reset Sachi's bathing behavior to somewhat slightly more sane. それで、カザミさんお気に入りの下着はどれだったんでしょう Black lacy ones. I'm ready. <laughs> Does the dresser look like it's been disturbed since you left the room? So, this car. I imagine she, like, actually had all kinds of different ones. We didn't look, though. <laughs> I really don't think that warrants such a disappointed tone of voice. <laughs> Fighting off a wave of exasperation, I turned my attention from the untouched dresser back to Sachi to find her staring at me with a distinctly nonplussed expression. Uh. And some, something on your mind? <laughs> At the very least, you don't resemble a pale old man wheezing after a marathon. <laughs> Are you. You're trying really hard, aren't you? <laughs> That you are. Dotosreba, Tosigoro no dancing, Totemo Cuchiniva da Sena Yona, let's Joe, Idaite, Ocasco, Nigel, Kyodato, Mono de Sma. Cosami Sama, so Narama, no de Shoka. Yuji is a very, 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 very strange man. <laughs> nope, can't say it is. Nose de Shoka, what a Shuima, Shuto Steno, Shike, Senko, Uketa Kirashimas. Relax, I'm not saying you're unattractive, Jesus. Good God, woman. Yeah, like I said with the bath, your problem is timing. Under the right circumstances, the sort of event you're imagining is perfectly possible. This isn't one of those times, that's all. Not to worry, if that time comes, you're not going to be able to miss it. Even if you want to. Although I'm certainly not going to guarantee it'll ever come to that. So, seems like you finally reached some genuine free time. What are you planning to do next? What? What? Sleep. Uh, uh, just to be perfectly clear. I wasn't wondering about the meaning of your words. Figured you'd do more. I mean, it's not even 9 p.m. yet, right? Are you seriously planning to sleep already? Oh, God! No, no it's not. It's. Just... No, I wouldn't say it's bad, but. Admittedly, I'm hardly an expert on the lifestyle of students these days, but I'm confident there aren't many of them who make a habit of going to bed this early. Especially in the case of, a young, of young women. From what I've seen, you could add another 12 hours to every night and they still wouldn't have enough time. 
do you not watch TV, play games, no time at all for recreation? I was gonna say, we've seen her watch TV only with Makina, though. Seriously? Uh, let's not do that. Frankly, it's still a little hard to believe that she doesn't relax at all. But from what I've seen in this room, she certainly doesn't seem to have much in the way of entertainment oriented belongings. And Sachi's personality being what it is. I guess it really was literally true. Hmm. In the instant Sachi delivers that oddly phrased sentence with a smile on her face, I finally realized the true nature of the unease I've been feeling about her behavior. It's pretty simple, really. She resembles me. <laughs> Organizing her life around diligently following orders. She never allows herself to doubt them, let alone defy those who make use of her. And almost as an extension of that, her private activities are little more than the bare minimum routines of daily existence. The same as me, in other words. Grilling her about recreation is more than a little hypocritical on my part. Looking at Sachi, I've been seeing myself. And the discomfort I felt was a reflection of my own... Uncertainty about my way of life. Damn, like our third eye just opened. <laughs> huh? I'd taken off guard by your question. I responded in an unusually feeble tone of voice. Uh, well, this is yet another surprise. Didn't think yeah, I was so transparent that a schoolgirl could see through me. Alright, I understand that much, but what made you think I was feeling relieved? <laughs> Hold on there, you Kazami Yuji. Occupation student Mark II does not smile. <laughs> Smiling? What is this? Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember grinning to myself during that little internal monologue. If anything, the look on my face should have been something like surprise. But apparently, something about my face suggested a smile to her. I see. I was right about one thing. You really are an interesting one, Sachi. It's something. <laughs> I'll let you decide on how to interpret it. But at the very least, it's better than boring, right? <laughs> Sachi said relieving my anxiety would make her happy. I'm not sure I understand the exact meaning of those words. But looking back on it, this visit did inspire a mysterious sense of tranquility. Whatever the details, I don't think that could be a bad thing. Well, guess I've confirmed the mechanics of your free time policy. But before we wrap things up, let's make arrangements to clear up the ma other matter as well. Yeah, you, we were going to see how difficult a question it takes to stump you, remember? Oh shit. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow. So we might as well take care of that fairly soon. What's your schedule looking like? Excellent. <laughs> Does that mean you won't be heading home for the break? Hmm. Guess a slightly less intimate connection with home might not be too surprising when you're living with a less immediate relative. Okay, so how dice? How about starting off right, right off the bat the day after tomorrow? That worked for you. Oh Jesus! Whoa! 
kind of hate when I do random. Alright, we'll assemble in the classroom at 1 p.m. two days from now. Right. Oh no, a promise. Is those important? <laughs> well, I guess you could put it that way. But you got people in the comments. Oh my god! Sachi said promise a bit that has to do that has to do with her backstory. Oh my god! <laughs> Every time, dude. Uh yeah, sure. That settled, I won't keep you from your sleep any longer. Have a good rest. I'm gonna go sleep in my own room, but thanks anyway, but that's not going to be necessary. So I look up at the sky through the ceiling. <laughs> I still haven't overcome the constant unease I feel toward myself or my doubts about my lax new life in this place. But I have learned something new in the last few days. There's someone else like me here. For some reason, I feel that like this objectively pointless little quiz game I've been entrusted with is going to yield interesting results. Not that I have any concrete reason to believe that, but it's not an unpleasant feeling. By the time I reach my room, I'm almost looking forward to it. Hey, you creeping around the lobby? She's the one that tried to pull the sleep over. Kid. Makina? As she talks to a girl. Makina's more like... I feel like Makina's ascended. Hello. Makina's ascended to be more than just a woman. She's just... <laughs> she's a derp. <laughs> like that realization earlier. Where is this... Holy shit, there's someone like me here. I've been interacting with myself. <laughs> sort of, in a weird, so different sort of way, but I can see where he's coming from. I can see where he gets that, where he finally just, like, the, it just, it clicks in his head. I like, uh, ooh, 